Hey everyone, this is a quick overview of one of the new features of Dungeon Architect. So this is the Dungeon Flow Editor and it allows you to design the flow of your dungeons. So here we have the node list. You can define as many nodes as you like, you can name them anything you like. And once you've designed them, you can drag and drop these nodes onto the, onto the rules here. So this is the rule list node. You can, again, you can have as many rules as you like. And a rule here has a left hand side and a right hand side. So basically it's going to take the left hand side and if it detects a pattern, a graph pattern in your, in the graph that you're generating, it would replace this pattern with uh, the one that you've defined on the right hand side. Uh, so for example, if it finds something like this, it's going to replace it with either this or this, depending on the weights that you've specified. You can have as many, uh, as many right hand side graphs as you like. So, uh, so these are the rules. Now you, you also have an execution graph that lets you control how these rules are executed and how often they're executed. So you start with the entry node and uh, here I'm saying I want to run the start rule once. So with this is start rule. And then I'm going to run the grow rooms rule next three to four times. So basically I just drag drop this stuff here. You can drag them, dro uh, drag them and then uh, uh, specify how often you want to you want to run it right so if i unlink this it will not run any rule here so let's see what happens our resulting graph this is the result graph that that is displayed it has an uh, it starts with the s node so uh, if we just run the start rule here i have defined the s node and that would be replaced with uh, with the the graph that you designed here so this is my high level graph i can have i can have multiple multiple graphs here as well like three four graphs with different uh, high level variations uh, so it's going to pick this and it's going to uh, uh, it's going to replace this with whatever we have here so if i if i were to run this uh, we basically see the same Uh, we see the same graph, but now we are going to, one of the powers of this system of, of graph grammars is that you can create some really complex uh, and interesting results with, with very simple rules like these. So here I have, I have said that I want to start with the spawn room and I like to have a room graph. So this room graph would be further expanded into a cluster of rooms. And I'd like to have a shop, a teleporter. And then this is my exit, and the exit is guarded by a boss room, uh, which uh, has a which is locked. So you need a key to unlock it, and you can get the key through another another uh, another branch here, and that is guarded by a mini boss. Uh, you have another path for the treasure, and that's also guarded by a mini boss. And I've placed a bunch of uh, teleporters all around so that you can jump around different areas if you've explored it already. So all of these nodes, they map to a predefined predefined prefab of a room that you've created and it would place the room. So in the end, this is going to stitch everything together depending on the layout that is generated in the result graph here. So I'm going to grow the rooms next. So what this does is uh, it sees that if it has a pattern, if it finds the room graph node, it's going to replace it with either one of these. It's going to replace it with this or this. But since I've given a weight of three here, it's going to uh, be, uh, it's going to replace this. Uh, it's going to pick this up three times more more often than this graph. So in this case, we want to add a room adjacent to it, but we want to retain the original room graph as well. So that if we keep running this again and again, it would keep expanding this because we would reuse this again, or we would just branch out and. Uh, start from another branch here so if you run this just look at how these room graphs would be expanded so let's run the grow rooms and disconnect that so it has created a few rooms you can increase this also so if i were to increase this to so it's created a really large 
graph here. So you can control how, how often you want to run this. The more you run it, the bigger your dungeon would be. And finally, we want, since we're just retaining the room graph node here, we want to, in the end, we want to get rid of the room graph, so we replace it with the room node itself. So replace the room graph with the room. So you see that we, we would eventually get rid of these. And we have room nodes. And finally, we'd like to insert a corridor between the, uh, between the rooms. So uh, this is what it does. If it finds a pattern like this, Room, 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 we'll just insert our new node here. And this would, uh, every time you run it, it would be a, it would be a different graph and has a different layout. A different layout, but it follows the same structure that you've defined here. And eventually this would go ahead and uh, it would create a dungeon based on this layout. So this has also been implemented. So let's see if it follows our structure here. We have the, where, where's the exit? So we have the exit here, before that we have the boss room and the lock. Our treasure is here, guarded by the mini boss. The shop should be here. Yeah, so we have a shop as well and we have a, a key path that it is again guarded by the mini, mini boss. So here I can define a different high level layout uh, like this with like three to four times and then uh, the, the final result would be picked up from either one of these. So you have, uh, you also have a lot of validation in, in here and automatically it would find any problems that you ha might have in your in your grammar it would show it in the list here so for example if I have a new rule if I have an empty rule it just notify me that this rule is empty or if I have a uh, if I have a duplicate name if I don't have a right hand side for example it would notify me to create a new one same for this uh, if there are duplicates if you don't have a entry node connected it would notify you here as well 